Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve first order differential equation by simulation in MATLAB. To do this, we need to type simulink in the command window. As you can see, the library browser will open and we need to open a new model. Now we need to consider a first order differential equation. Now we consider this equation as you can see on the left corner. This is the equation that we want to solve it and show the simulation in Simulink. As you can see the time is here and we need to make the time in the Simulink for this purpose, we need to use the clock. Now, from this path, we find the block here. You click on it, click on it, click right on it, and add block to the model. And this is the time variable that we use for this simulation. Uh, and for making the t to the power of 2, as you can see in this equation we have, we need to use the product block. You can find the product block in the simulating part of the library browser in the commonly used block. And you see the product here. You click right on it and add the block to the model. Now we connect the clock to the product and the result is t to the power of 2. You can see in this equation we need uh, the inverse of t to the power of 2. Now from this pass from the library browser in the user defined functions we use a, this function which is the name is fcn and click right on it and add block to the model same as before now we connect the rest of the model to this function and you when you double click on this function you need to inverse the input of this function as you can see in this way now just let's produce this part of the equation y plus 3t now we need to first understand the relation of a uh, derivative relation of y as you can see it is the derivative relation of y and we need to make it here now we use another product block here we we'll click right on it and copy and paste it here And then we need the integrator from this pass in the commonly used blocks. And uh, you can see the integrator here. Click right on it, the same as the before. Add block to the model. And you connect it. And here. Is the place that we make the y. In the integrator block we need to choose the initial conditions. We click on this and here you see the initial conditions. We select minus 2 and then you click enter. 
Now to make the 3T signal, we need the gain block and from this pass commonly used block we use here as you can see the gain block we add it to the model here we choose the gain as we can see it must be 3 and we connect it to the clock here and for making y plus 3t we need a summation here as you can see there is a summation in the same part commonly used blocks we can add it to the model here is the summation we connect the gain 3t here it's 3t and the y from here now in this part we have y plus 3t now in order to display the output of y in time just we need to use the scope here as you can see in the commonly used block in the library browser here is the scope and you click on it and add it to the model And you connect the Y to the scope. And then you connect the Y plus 3T here to the product we have to complete the simulation. Uh, before running the simulation, note that we are going to solve the differential equation in 1 to 4 seconds. And here at the top of this simulation, you see the simulation type time and you need to enter the four for running it from one to four second now we click on the run here it's the green button you see Now we face with an uh, error. The important point is that the Simulink simulation environment by default starts at 0 seconds. And if it's not sensible, you run the simulation because of the t to the power of 2 in the denominator of the differential equation. For solving this problem, we need to uh, change the time start of this simulation we need to uh, press ctrl e and uh, as you can see the configuration parameters will open and you change the a start time from 0 to 1 and then press OK and now we can run it let's see what will happen there is no error we open the scope here As you can see, we could easily simulate and solve the first order differential equation with the Simulink environment. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe us and hit the like button. Thank you very much.